Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do my eyeshadow, just one simple look. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape as a eyeshadow primer and blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Uh, well, it's a sponge from Real Techniques. Works just as good as a Beauty Blender, if not better, and it is way, way cheaper. I had a little bit of um, brow setting gel on my eye that had dried up. I'm using the Morphe's Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm dipping into a light tan brown shade. And it is the color Silk Cream from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm using a blending brush from BH Cosmetics. Not sure the name of the brush. Just blending into my, uh, right above my crease. And now I'm using the shade, well, it's kind of hard to read these shades, Hunts. Am I using Hunts? No, I'm using Hooter. No. I believe it's Hunts. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Bear with me, guys. I'm using like an angled brush. Uh, I'm not even sure the brand of this brush. I've, I've had it for a long time. Works really good, though. I think it was ordered off Amazon with a set. And I'm just blending around the edges. Still using that same shade, Hunts. And just blending, blending. Now I'm going to get ready to do a cut crease using the Tarte Shape Tape again with a flat, precise brush from Unique. And I dab it on my lid and look up so I'll know where it's where I need to be. Um, it is the color light sand. I believe this brush is um, meant for um, like cream shadow, but it works really great for um, cut creases and to carve your eyebrows out, which is another video that I have that I'm going to post. So the reason I turn my brush up that way is so it don't get on my eyelashes. I'm just going to make it a nice sharp line. I'll just take the beauty blender and kind of dabbed it a little bit to make sure it's not too wet and I'm just blending on the edges a little bit again with that same brush dip back in to the color hunts to kind of make it a little more prominent I guess that's where I'm looking for now I'm changing the brush I don't remember the name of this brush either it is just something from BH Cosmetics when I ordered the um, Take Me Back to Brazil palette. It just came with it. This shade is the color Buns. Doesn't look like that. No, Cran Apple. Use the color, the shade Cran Apple. And then I am using. Okay, this is the shade Silk Cream that I'm using on the inner corner and on the center, or the kind of towards the center of the lid. And I believe the first transition shade that I used 
This is so backwards. This doesn't look right. So the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette has all the shades listed on the back. And it's not really lined up with what is actually in the palette. So I'm using my Roller Liner by Benefit. This is my favorite, favorite mascara right now. Oh. Oh, no, first I'm going to highlight my brow bone. And that is from the Morphe palette. It's the In Light color, I believe is what I chose. In Light. I'm just making sure the edges are not harsh and it's well blended. Now I'm using my Roller Liner by Benefit to do my winged liner. This is not always easy. A lot of times it is better to use tape. I was going to do that, but I actually forgot. But most of the time I do freehand my eyeshadow and my eyeliner. It's just practice makes perfect. It is hard to get them completely even. I usually do one eye better than the other. But... It does get better in time after doing it so many times. Just don't give up if you're having struggles. And um, this look does look better with lashes. I just didn't want to wear lashes. I don't like to wear lashes every day. I'm really not a big lash fan, but I do believe it makes your eye look so much better. That is just a Lancome primer. And the Benefit Roller Lash is my favorite mascara. I like this mascara because it doesn't get clumpy and it doesn't flake off onto your face. And I never peck myself in the eye. The brush isn't so bulky or um, it's kind of rubbery. It doesn't, it's not hard and I just really like it. Bye, honey.